Hey, this is the third video for the debate between Jesse Lee Peterson and the Hebrew Israelites, the black Jews. Um, and this bad boy got heated. Um, it got heated because they started believing that Jesse Lee Peterson did not like black people. So they are going at him. They're throwing verses at him and everything to try to back it up. If you have not seen the first two, please go check them things out. If I said anything on those first two that offended you, y'all know I didn't mean to. You know what I mean? You know I didn't mean to offend anybody. So since I didn't mean to offend anybody, I'm not going to apologize because that was my, not my intentions. All right, so this third one right here whew, is about to turn up, guys. So thank y'all again for clicking play, and let's check it out together. And very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil toward his whole. Evil toward his brother. Okay, so now the way that you be talking, mm -hmm. it's almost like you got an evil eye towards your own brother. How is that? Because we was just people? talking about slavery, and you only wanted to identify the Africans that was putting the Hebrews on the slave ship. Because you didn't want to identify the white people, so that's hatred Con, towards your, your own, own brother. People. Read. You know why I wanted to correct that? Because black men lied to. And toward the wife of his brother. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We gonna, we gonna be hold hating them. Let me just respond to that. Hold on. All right, go ahead. The reason I'm, I'm telling you the truth about it because that was that was from comedy. That was from a comedy skit right there, and from the wife of his bosom, I said, "Read, brother. Don't I, I heard him say that. I heard him say stop. But and so what? This is this show. But I said, read. Don't make me come over there, brother. You people are being you people the blacks are being controlled. You were all one of us. I mean, I'm not a, a one of your boys we're, we're not being black, controlled huh? or manipulated. You and you've be been white, told huh? that the white man, <laughs> you've been told that the white man is doing this to you and you believed it to a lie and that's how you're being controlled when it really was the blacks and the Arabs who sold you to others, to whites and to other blacks because blacks had to leave. What, what did your, uh, what, did it, you know? it was the, uh, he, he said it was, it wasn't the white people who sold them. It was the white people who bought them. And then they started doing what other nations was already doing. But then, once we got through all that, once we got through all of that, guys, who's holding us back now? And they're saying, it's certainly not us, because it, it's not our fault that we in jail. It's the white man. It's the government. It's, it's the government fault that we that we get getting welfare and abortions. It's the government fault. Unless you acknowledge them for their role in why I can't get a job and you don't agree 1,000%, then you, sir, are white. You're part of the problem and you can't come to the cookout. You can't come to the cookout, Jesse. You know that blacks had slaves here as well? Okay, now you, when we came to America, who oppressed us here? Uh, the black... I don't even know what you mean by who Man, you oppressed just, you. You just blind. But Man, it's the black. Let's keep reading though. Starting in the middle. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Okay, so now the Bible says that the so-called Hebrew man, being under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, would leave his house. This was this is the power of the most high making this happen because we've been disobedient. We don't have no love for ourselves, we don't have no love for the most high. This is why it's so important for us to understand who we are while we're in the situations that we're in. Amazing. Um, Amazing. Would you agree that most blacks are immoral? No. Why would you say that? I'm asking a question. Would you believe that? No. I why? mean, would you accept that? No. Why not? Because they're not. Um, according to the Washington Examiner, I don't care, I don't care about is. the Washington Black Examiner. Black women who were born in this country, who are Americans, 77% of the children are born out of wedlock. Is that immoral? We just read my, why. My, is that my daughter is it. Is that she's immoral? sitting right there. This is, is, see now, is that immoral? Now, now let, me, let me explain something to you. This is why the Hebrew Israelites is rising up all over the you world because question. we will change those events about the father leaving the mother yes. and, the, and, the, and, the, uh, and leaving his children behind. When we get this word in us, we're not going to leave our children no That's more. That's right. We have and this structure, is, this is a structure in our home. We're going to understand Absolutely. how the structure is supposed to take place, and we're going to start relying on the Most High and not the government. And building it back up the way that the Most High and God should, designed a family to be. Y'all know y'all are saying the same thing. Y'all are saying the exact same thing now.
Now y'all are speaking the same language. I don't know if y'all understand that because you're saying, and, and from here on out, we are going to follow the word of God. Unlike you, Jesse Lee Peterson. And we're going to stop the black man from depending on the government. Oh, you agree with that too? No, no, you don't. Listen to what I'm saying, because this is coming straight from the Bible. We need people to understand that we are teaching something that you have never been teaching them. I'm sorry, you've been teaching people to listen to the Bible too? You've been trying to get black people to not succumb to the government? Ah. <sighs> well, the only thing you don't get is that the white man is the reason why we can't stop. We can't stop black people from, from depending on the government because it's set up that way. As soon as we try to get a job, nope. We end up accidentally signing up for welfare. We thought we signed up for a job. They interviewed us, and we thought we was interviewing for a job. I thought it was going to be the vice uh, man, um, the with, with the the vice president of Chick Fil A, and and next thing you know, I'm dag on on welfare with no job, and it's all your fault, Jesse. Because of 1619, you're not acknowledging what happened, brother. That's what this you should the return way it's to, to be. that order of God. That's God cool. in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, a woman over children. We had that under the Jim Crow laws. We lost that once the civil rights movement started and the government became the daddy. If blacks had never lost that order given by God, you would not be in the condition you're in today. I mm -hmm. promise you that. So let me yeah. ask, no, I got to go back to something. True it is true. It's not true. Come look, you bring, well, then if it's not true, why are you bringing that order back? We, we bring it, the, what I'm trying to tell you, how we lost the orders, because first of all, we went into slavery. When you go into slavery, you Got lost stripped. your identity, you lost your heritage, you lost your God. So why now when we you reestablish who your God is, why did you reestablish what your, your ethnicity is, you're not black, black is just a color. That's right. not who you are. What color is you're your God? You're not an African American. What That's color? two continents. What color is you're your not, God? What, how you, what's black in Spanish? What color is your God? He's, he's, he's brown, like me. God, your guy is brown? Yeah. How do you know that? Because the Mexican the think that. Let's go to Revelations 1 and 15. But every race think that their guy is their color. We're well, going we're by not, the Bible. read it. But they'll Bible. use the Bible to prove it, too. They'll use the Bible to say that, too. It, they, they can't, they can't they show can't. Christ being no not, other color not in, but black. Not in that Let Bible. me ask this. Does is, your Israelite group, Hebrew Israelite group, teach that a man should have more than one wife? Uh, it, uh, a, a, the Bible does say that we can have more than one wife, but if you're a teacher or if you're preaching the word, this yeah. is the same Bible that you read. What are you talking about? And it says that you're supposed to have one wife. But what do you teach that in your Israelite group? Do you teach men we, that, that they should have, have one? you're supposed to have one wife because all of our men in our group want to be teachers and they want to be leaders. How about non-teachers of the Hebrew Israelite? Are they allowed to have more than one wife? If the Bible says, this ain't but, but just about a Hebrew Israelite. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says if you want to have a more than one wife, you can't be a teacher. I'm asking about the non-teachers. Do you teach the others that who are non-teachers that they can have more than one wife? No, we teach, we all, like I said, we encourage all of our men to step up to be leaders and to be teachers so they won't have more than one wife. They will only have one. So are you teaching them that they cannot have more than one wife? No, it's not, it's not against the law to have more than one wife, according to the Bible. So Hebrew Israelites teaches that if you're a Hebrew Israelite, according to the scriptures, you can have more than one wife and it's fine. According to the Bible, you can have more than one wife unless you were a teacher or a more. Amazing. I want to ask you something about uh, groups. You said that blacks, uh, one of the problems with black people is that they are not unified as a group, right? Am I, did you say that? Who said that? Yeah. That they're not unified as a group? Right. Yeah, we're not unified right now until we start. The Hebrews is, is, is the way that you're going to get unified. There's no other way. If and you don't come to the Most High and get under him, there is no unification for nobody. What's the purpose of unifying? Uh, I wouldn't want to unify with a group that I don't agree with. Our values are different. I see things different, differently. Why would I want to unify as a group? Well, and you, and your, well, you and your wife agree on everything? No. But y'all unify, right? But no. <laughs> you ever seen a man unify with his wife? You mean unify right with your, here? With your wife not one? No. Oh, that's that's sad. Why that's is that sad? sad? That's horrible. Uh, when you leave your mother and your father, you <laughs> you're supposed to wife, cleave you to cleave your wife. You one. Well, you know why we're not unified? Why? I'll have one. Uh, you know uh -huh. what? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but let me ask. Let me ask you. So this. if you did have one, you know, is she gonna. I'm gonna she gonna look like you. She'll come along dragging. You know how women are. Uh -huh. You know how women are. You have to drag them along. No, I, don't know I about wouldn't that, say that. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't put our women down like that. Let no. me ask you this. Um, do you believe human beings are in a falling state? Human beings? Yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about America. America is the daughter of ba Babylon, and America has fallen, and it's under judgment right now. So, yes, it's at a falling state right now. Do you believe human beings are in a falling state? That's what he, that's what he said. That part of the Bible that they're in, uh, well, when they're looking at the Bible and they're talking about revelations, um, he's saying that the country is in... Um, is in judgment right now. So that's what he's doing. He wants to hold the company, or the country and the company to account. That's what he wants to do. It's, it's not to unify, it's to unify, to take down. That can be a little dangerous, big dog. Make sure you're clear in how you're teaching your teachings because this right here is a slug. It's a little different. Not all human beings, no. You don't believe all human beings are no. No, because we're rising. Israel yes, is true. rising. Um, amazing. What's amazing. the uh, what's the purpose of a reader? I know you brought a reader, and yeah, because we're supposed other. to go over a lot of scriptures to prove what we speak out of the Word of the Most High. But reading scriptures like that doesn't prove anything. All it does is give you. Are you a pastor? It built, yeah. So you said reading scriptures doesn't prove anything. Right. Because when the it, Bible says that uh, we're supposed to go to the word to prove all things. I'll so, tell you what it means. So by you that. a pastor? Let me tell you this. Um, reading scripture just builds your ego and makes you feel like you know more than the average person. And then you go and get a church and you, you know, you call yourself a preacher or a teacher, whether it's Christians or whatever religion. And it just build your intellect. That depends on and the so, individual. Now you can bring so, your individual in there. It depends so on the individual. Do, it it builds you up to make you think, and then you have these people looking up to you. Do you no. know that the kingdom of heaven is within you? The kingdom of heaven is coming. Do you know that the kingdom of heaven is within? It, it, it is within us, but it's also coming. So if, if it's already within you, it's already here, how is it coming? Because the Bible says it's coming. Which is, that the 12 tribes of Israel we scatter, we scatter to the four corners of the earth will be delivered in the last days and brought to the unwalled villages and live for a thousand years. See, that's just intellectual with knowledge. Christ. You're waiting on something that has already happened. It hasn't happened Because yet. you're into How this intellectual yet? knowledge. The kingdom of heaven is within. You agree to that, right? I said that it, we, we, it's... The we reason why the kingdom of heaven was within us is because Christ is within us. So it's here already then, right? No. no. I mean, it's coming. You, are you not here right, right now? now? Yeah, I'm here right now. And so where you so, are... You see main man down there? <laughs> main man down there kept on looking up at him saying, amazing. Amazing. Did y'all see that? Oh, you gotta see that. Yeah, no, I heaven see was that. within us is because Christ is within us. So it's here already then, right? No. no. Amazing. It's <laughs> you see, he said amazing. Watch this one time. Are you not here amazing. right now? He said amazing again. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. <laughs> is that other brother on the microphone is hilarious. Yeah, I'm here right now. And so where you so, are. So is this the is kingdom? the kingdom for you? So where you where, are. Where, where your people is being um, tortured, uh, tortured and, and beaten, killed on the street. Raped, they, they shot the down by the police. Like Let me ask you. Now. So the kingdom of heaven that is within you. You're here right this now. This is not my kingdom. It's, not it's the, the kingdom, kingdom inside of you right now. This is not, not my kingdom. I'm talking about within. I, Christ is within us. It's the kingdom so of heaven. The, kingdom, the kingdom of heaven that's within you is it here right now with you, inside of you. Christ is within me. I'm asking about the kingdom. Is it here too? Yeah, with him being with me, it's a part of the kingdom. Do you believe that the Bible is the uh, word from God or the word of God? It's, it's the word of God. So the word that's in your heart, what word is that? That yep. written up on your heart, what word is that? that no, that's, a, that's the uh, new covenant that's supposed to take place. You don't think that has taken place? No. So you don't know that the word is already written up on your heart? No. 
Uh, you don't on, know that either? No, Do you because want to get if on that? we would not not yeah. be studying, if it was already in us, we wouldn't have to teach each other about the words and That's the commandments. That's right, and, and you and don't and have and to do that. When it is, you yes, have not do. realized that the word is already written in your heart, and so you're not being taught from within. You've been taught from without. And that's why things are not working. Well, that's not that's the truth. If you true. were to allow the Holy Spirit, what is do you supposed to be written in your heart? Holy Spirit what is supposed, to what's supposed to be written in your heart? The Word of God. What is the Word of God? The truth. Do you know what is actually supposed everything. to be written inside your heart? What's that? The commandments. That's in our heart. Okay, so you keep the commandments? Yes. Okay, so you keep the Sabbath day holy? I'm not into all that. So you don't so keep that the, ain't the commandments you don't keep the then. Every day is holy for and me. And you still How eat crab and day? shrimp, so you ain't every keeping the commandments. Every day is holy for me because I love what's right with all my heart, soul, and might. So I'm living by that. So I treat my fellow man and woman, which means fellow man, as I would like to be treated. Oh, every yeah. day is holy, not just some oh, Sunday yes. or some set aside uh, day. That makes sense. See, see you can't no. uh, lean to thy own understanding. I got to ask you this because I went to your website and you said, oh, you, you have a video on your website that talk about the curse of African American black people. Are black people cursed? Yes. They are cursed. Mm -hmm. And what is the curse? Give me Jeremiah 3 and 6. And then I got to end. I know I'm out of time, John. I mean, Joel 3 and 6. It was just getting good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Joel 3 and 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. Okay, so our, our punishment was to be scattered to the four corners of the earth. Now, in the last days, the Most High is going to gather us from the four corners of the earth, and then the same punishment that he put upon us is going to return on the people who led us into slavery. Amazing. Reversed. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, is that the Old Testament he's reading from? Yeah. He, mm -hmm. And do you realize that the Old Testament is done, done. with? No. The New Testament has with. been finished? Yeah, I mean, let and, me have And everything, <laughs> and everything has been put back to order, but you're still living in the Old Testament? Do you know that? No. You're living as though okay. you're still living in that time. Okay, you, first, you first that? of all, Christ comes back in the Old Testament. Is that true? Tap in, guys. Let me know. That's 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 some good information right there. Tap in. Let me know what's up. Testament in Isaiah. He's already come. In Isaiah 63, you're going to see Christ coming back. You don't believe that he's already done that? Wait a minute. Can, 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 I, can I say something? Yeah. Okay, now in Isaiah 65, right, it talks about the new heaven and the new earth, right? There are prophecies all through the Bible that hasn't took place yet that's in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament, right? So Okay, so why would you disregard the Old Testament when it hasn't fully been fulfilled yet, there is much information in the Old Testament that you can find in the New Testament. Everything goes hand in hand. You got to have the I, New I Testament the, with the I Old. I read the Old Testament, but let me ask, you don't know that Christ has already come and that he's already redone what he uh, already the came. first son yeah, first Where you came, and he's redone what the first son did who fell away from the Father. And then keep the word. Where are you at? Christ came and he restored that. Where are you at? You don't know he did that? Where are you at? He's in you and you don't realize it. Wait, now you're saying he came and back. He at when the did right he come back? The Father. When did he come back? You don't read the New Testament? Yeah, I read the New Testament. You don't know that that's about him coming back and <laughs> taking care of everything? Oh, okay. Yeah, he came back. And he, and he basically what he did was he became the spiritual high priest, right? So therefore, with him becoming a spiritual high priest, we don't have to sacrifice no more. We don't have to kill each other. We don't have to stone each other no more because he took the death for us. So therefore, we must keep the law. As uh, Matthew 5 and 17 says, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. Not one jot or one tittle and no wise shall pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Do you sin? We sin, the sins that we commit is sins that we don't know about. Do you if, we, if we have knowledge of the truth, this is Hebrews 10 and 26. Hebrews 10, get here, Hebrews 10, 26. When we come into the knowledge of the truth, there is no more sacrifice for sins. Do you, so things that I don't know about, yes, I do sin. So you still but the sin. things that I have knowledge of, no, I don't. So you do sin. 
the things that I don't know about, yes. If you don't know about it, how do you know you're sinning? The most, that, exactly. The most I said he winks at your ignorance. Amazing. So you're sinning and don't know it. Yeah. You sin too? Yes, the things that I don't know of, but the things that I know that I'm supposed to follow according to that Bible and the Most High God, I don't do it. Two quick <laughs> last questions. Um, are you proud of the great job that the great white hope has done in the first <laughs> year in office as president? Who's the great white hope? The president. <laughs> president Trump. <laughs> Since you. <laughs> Try to shake his hand. Try to shake his hand and see right, if he, he passed you up. <laughs> So stick you your not, hand out, try to shake his hand and see if you shake your hand. Right. Did and you, see how much you love your white hope. So you're not proud of what he's done? No. Did you vote for him? Huh? Did you vote for him? No. no. Do you vote? No. Oh, Israelites don't vote? No. Oh, okay. And you're not proud of the great white hope either? You are? I don't call him the great white hope, you first of all, but no, I'm not proud of so. Trump. Very you put so. the country first. And my last question, did, did you, you have, have fun? fun? <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know how to answer that, man. <laughs> I don't, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like sad, man, because yeah, of the way I am your, too. your views. Yeah, it's not, it's not fun. That you to don't hear love you your like people. That. You're, you're one Did of you us. Did you have fun? No. You didn't have fun. Did no. you have fun? I had a good time, but I would have had a better time if you were in a different place mind than frame. where you are. I've been there mind before, frame. but God took the anger away. He set me free. We're, We're not angry Did people. We're not angry what? people. Did you yeah, you fun? real funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll be honest with that one, man. What y'all thought about that? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Make sure you also go watch one and two of this right here, because I thought the whole segment was phenomenal actually <laughs> and i enjoyed it and it's a bit late so yeah i was real mellow when i was checking it out so yeah but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man this was phenomenal this was phenomenal he always knows how he, how to get under the people's skin but at the end of the show he makes sure that they are they're good that's why he always say that you have fun he knows exactly what he's doing he asked him about the great white hope. He asked everybody. He asked me that. <laughs> bless him, man. Bless him. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out to do Once again, guys, I'm Van. And now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.